Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, everybody has a cell phone, right? Everybody does. But what happens when you accidentally mix cell phone with water? Unfortunately, you're sitting there over the toilet talking and you accidentally drop the phone into the toilet. So the solution is rice. They say rice will fix it, right? All you gotta do is put your phone in the rice and you're good to go. Well, I even found that there's professional kits like this one right here that we're gonna try that supposedly works better than just buying rice off the shelf and putting your phone in rice. Well, I got a couple of phones. I got this one, we got this one, and then we got this one, all right? This one is crap, as you can see. 80% of my friends have a phone, but their phone is crap. So I was thinking that, you know what? Let's try it with a cracked phone. I bet a cracked phone has a way better chance of getting destroyed than one of these phones that doesn't have a crack in it. We got our, so we got our water, we got our rice. Let's see what happens. Also, y'all may be wondering why this little uh, chopper is sitting right here. This helicopter kit right here is going to our lucky winner. We're going to do a giveaway. Since we've hit our 200 mark, well, hell, I was making a 200 win video, but you know what? We're almost in the 300s. As of right now, we have 283 subscribers. So on my 300 subscriber, I'm going to try to get rid of this. All you want to do, if you want this, guys, leave a comment. That's it. Say, Don, I want the chopper. And guess what? At the end of the month, whoever leave the comment, I'm sending it to you. Boom. Water. So, pour the water. Do, 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 And blam. Just like that. Don't need that anymore. Check it out, y'all. See, we got some water. Okay, all right, so we got our first phone. As you can see, the phone is working. It's booting right there. You can see it. It's coming on. All right. There it is. You can see it's loading. All right, so you're standing over the toilet, right? And all of a sudden, you drop it into the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the O, the O method. So here we go. We got our phone. We got our water. Let's see what happens when we drop it into it. And remember, we're gonna give it a th like a good three second count. One, two, three, reach in and pull it out. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh shit, one, two, three, pull out, boom. Oh, working, check that out. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so that was our first test. And as you can see, the phone is still working. Okay, so. That one, we'll just set to the side. Now, we got our other one. This is the one that has the case on it, right? So this is the one with the case. Now we try the case phone. What's gonna happen with the case phone? Ready? And three, two, one. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, all right. Woo, all right, I pulled it out. When we drop it in here, I think that it's going to just go poof. It should just blow up. That's what I think what will happen. All right, so you can see that this one's coming on too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it in the water. And then I'm going to give it the good one, two, three, oh, count. And we're going to reach in and pull it out. All right. Here we go. It's on one. Two, three. Oh shit. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. It's too big for the thing. All right, I'm just gonna drop it in. One, two, three. Three wet phones. And as you can see, the counter's wet too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them in the, in the rice and see if it helps any. Um, this phone, remember it was coming on? It was turning on? There it goes up. Well, this phone right here, it's 
like I hit the button and sometimes it works there it goes up oh, and then it just does that so maybe it got a little bit wet this one right here uh, I can't even get it to turn on so and then this one right here it's still coming on so and there's water all over it okay so it's been a day and I'm kind of curious to see what the results are of it see this is the one that was completely wet you can see right there where we had the battery trip and then the red indicator and then if you look at the one inside the phone it was also tripped so there's the other red indicator um, you can actually see there is moisture inside underneath the tape you can see that right there that's moisture I'm curious to see oh look at that the battery still has water on it so I guess it didn't completely absorb it like we wish to oh look at that the sticker on the battery has been tripped too well we'll see if it works see if the rice really works oh my god it turned on wow gonna pull it out set it down now it's funny because this rice feels weird like it feels different well it's probably because it's full of moisture I'm gonna have rice all over the damn studio all right so once again the rice leaves like this weird moisture or this weird white powder residue all over everything um, let's check this one out real quick oh look it's still wet inside see that it's still wet inside and this was for a full day so like if your phone is solid you know meaning that the back doesn't come off the battery doesn't come off I think you have a good chance I think you have a very good chance but also um, it also depends on what's in the water you know water itself just pure water no minerals in it just straight water is not electrically conductive by itself the only thing that makes water conductive are the materials or the minerals that are in the water like your water will run through like a pipe a steel pipe and it will pick up the ions in that pipe and put it into the water and that water if it touches electricity, then that's usually what shorts the things out. So water by itself won't hurt electronics. It's only water that's been exposed to minerals that can hurt your electronics. But anyway, if your phone is sealed like that, like an iPhone, like a newer iPhone or even some of the newer Android phones, then I think you're okay. But also, if your phone does go for a swim, you can't take apart your phone like this and put it in a bunch of rice and, you know you, you won't be able to do it but with these types of phones the ones where you can take off the bat take out the battery and I would actually recommend pulling out a couple of these if you know what you're doing like for me I've been a tech for years I used to work on cell phones for US Cellular and we used to use rice as an alternative for water damaged phones but when I would use it I would completely disassemble the phone all the way down to its logic board and screen I mean tear it down into 10 pieces and then we would take all of those pieces and put that into rice and leave it for days like two to three days the longer the better uh, there's really not too much you can do about it other than you know try to avoid it if this if your phone goes in the water you know longer than five minutes then you have dramatically increased your chances of it not being resuscitated so I hope you guys have liked the video make sure to leave me a like thumbs up also we did it we hit the 300 mark I was trying to make a 200 mark video but we got we hit the 300 so fast I mean it took me forever to get through the 100s 
and it took me forever to get to the 200s. We just blew through the 300 mark. We're now at 311 subscribers. I think at the beginning of this, when I made this video, what, yesterday or the day before, I was at like 282. So we're definitely taking it off and running. Another thing that I did notice was that a lot of my older videos, videos that I made six months ago, are getting tons of views. But a lot of my newer videos aren't getting as much as views, and I really don't know why that is. Um, I've kind of not done a lot of tech stuff lately. I've been doing more vlogging and, you know, spending a day with dad, spending a day with mom, spending a day with the girl, going scrapping, going shopping, going out, doing things like that. Uh, but we're going to try to migrate back into the tech stuff because that's what I really want to do. Uh, we're going to build dad a computer and we have some other cool things coming up. I have a custom build that I want to do. Um, right now I'm sourcing the parts for it. Uh, there's actually two or three builds that I would like to do. Dad's build, a custom build, and then a mass storage build. So, but I'm out of here guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We need to go up. Sub rise is what we're working on, gentlemen and ladies. But I hope that this kind of clears it up for you. That rice does work, but the longer you leave it in there, I mean, there's a lot of things that there's a lot of checks and balances that take place when it comes to rice. I think if I had to give a bottom answer, either a yes or a no, that this works, I would say yes. The only problem with it is, is that you guys saw it, it makes everything white. It leaves like this white powder all over the place, and that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So... We're going to leave it up to you guys as your own opinion. What do y'all think? You think it really works? You think it doesn't work? Um, it's been around for years as a tactic, and I still use it to this day. So, I think it works, and I give it a thumbs up. So, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you guys be cool. Bye -bye -bye.